Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This will be a general reading for Cancer for January 15th through the 31st. And this reading is timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when you are meant to receive it. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Cancer. Let's get into this. What is your general energy? What does Cancer need to know for January 15th through the 31st? What does Cancer need to know? Okay, so we have transformation and change and we have meditation for peace and serenity so i feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching cancer and affirmation for growth so a lot of soul searching here um i feel like you're looking for answers cancer you're looking for answers tell me more about cancer your reality is a, f a reflection of your inner world. So, yeah, what you're thinking on the inside, you're bringing towards your reality, Cancer. So you want to be careful for your thoughts. Surround yourself with your soul tribe. So, yeah, people that bring you happiness, people that, you know, kind of connect you to source. Be around those people. Those people are going to be very important to you this month. Um, being around people who keep you uplifted, who bring you happiness. You know, these are the people that you want to be around. These are the people who are going to be very important to you in helping you stay grounded helping you go through this growth and transformation that you're going through. Tell me more about this, Cancer. Tell me more about this. Give me a message for Cancer for January 1st, January 15th through the 31st. Give me a message for Cancer. Yeah, Two of Cups. Okay. Five of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. The Fool card. The King of Wands. We have the Page of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands, and the Hermit card. Okay, at the bottom we have the Six of Swords. So, Cancer, I feel like you're moving into some sort of calmer space you're looking for that calmer space at least that's something that you 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 want to move into you want to move into that space i feel like you know you have love or there's love coming in but i feel like there may be competition for this love interest this also maybe you being very playful with this love interest I feel like it's very challenging you may be going through challenges in love at the moment hmm and I feel like you're you're looking for something that What I'm, what I'm really feeling is I feel like you you want someone to give you respect. 
respect is what I'm getting from this card although I know that's not what it means um, this is someone giving you some sort of generosity some sort of help this is balance giving and receiving equally but I feel like you're you're looking for someone to give you respect hmm interesting we'll have to see what it how that clarifies we also have the full card so I feel like you know what there may be some sort of new beginning coming through for you this is maybe you taking a chance on some kind of new passion new venture new opportunity this also may be you taking your chance being more assertive where I feel like maybe you weren't being assertive before. I feel like you're you're looking to be more assertive. You're looking to take more chances to be more courageous, more fearless. I feel like this is something new that you're kind of experimenting with, if that makes sense. We have the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So I really feel like, you know, um, people are talking, Cancer. This may be people spying on you. You're being spied on. Someone may be looking at your social media. Someone may be looking um, around your friend zone. Someone's spying on you, though. And I feel like... It's someone that's surrounding you. It's maybe a friend. A friend of a friend. But Cancer... Okay, I see a lot of change coming in for you. You're going to have a lot of change. Something's going into your direction. Something's turning. This may also be you taking a gamble on something. Taking a gamble on some kind of new opportunity. Some kind of new fire. Could be this King of Wands situation. But I feel like it's very passionate. It's very giving. It's very courageous. It's some kind of inspired action that you're doing that's kind of, you know, something out of your character. But I feel like it's pushing you into a new direction. It's kind of taking you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like it's a good thing. I feel like this is bringing you a lot of spiritual awareness, spiritual guidance you know you're gaining some kind of wisdom for this you see how he's following this path and he stopped to look down but he's looking down at where he's been before you know he doesn't want to go down that road to where he's been before so he's looking down at it like you know, I'm not going back there. I'm following this path into new discovery. And I feel like that's what you're doing, Cancer. Let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. Spirit, tell me about this Two of Cups for Cancer. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, with this situation, you're going through some challenges in love at the moment, Cancer. And you're looking at the situation like if it's worth the battle. If it's worth the battle. Hmm. If it's worth your effort. You feel like you put a lot of work into this that it's just too much.
But I feel like if it's if it's this love that you're intending on having, Cancer, I feel like, you know, you have to have patience. You have the Nine of Cups at the bottom, so I feel like it could all work out. You just have to be patient with the situation. Kind of keep doing the work. Keep putting in the effort, and it'll all work out. At the moment, it may feel like it's a big challenge, but let's see. Let's see where we're going with this. What is this Five of Wands, Spirit? Tell me about this Five of Wands. Yeah, the Justice card. Okay. With the Five of Wands, we have the Justice. So I feel like it's going to all work out if you, if you keep putting in the work. If you keep being patient. If you keep being... Um, if you keep like waiting it's gonna all work out I mean with the justice card you're gonna receive the benefit that you give you know whatever you put into something you're gonna get out of something so that's why I feel like this challenge if if this challenge is worth the battle then you're going to work at it, but you're going to get exactly what you deserve out of the situation. So what kind of work are you going to put into it? Are you going to put in the effort and get out exactly, you know, what you deserve in the situation? You also have, also have a wheel up here. So I'm really feeling like things are going to be changing for the better. You just have to be patient. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles spirit. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, I was feeling like this is you wanting your respect. You know, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like someone's going to give you the hard truth. Someone's going to give you... Um, this may be a new battle for your respect <laughs> you know this may be you kind of taking your respect by force if that makes any sense you're kind of demanding that you get the respect that you deserve that's kind of how I feel about that Let's see, what is this full? What is this new beginning? The Queen of Swords. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of truth. A lot of honesty. A lot more stability. This may be you going out on your own. Being self-sufficient. But I feel like... You know, this is someone being totally honest with you about a situation. She has her sword down, so she's not being defensive. You know what I mean? I feel like this is someone being totally honest. With the King of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, this if this is if this is you, Cancer, the King of Wands, if this is you, I feel like this is you going it on your own. You know, this is you following this passion alone, solo. You know, but I feel like this is you putting a, a lot of effort into this. You're Whatever passion this is, whatever new venture this is, this may be something that's giving you a lot more gain, a lot more...
pleasure. You know? Tell me about this page of swords. Tell me more about this page of swords. The page of wands. So definitely, someone's talking. Someone's spying on you. And I feel like it's someone who's going to maybe send you some kind of message. This may be this love interest that's spying on you. This may be this king of wands who's currently going it alone. They may be single and getting in touch with you. But this is definitely two pages on each other. This is communication. This is someone trying to get your attention in some way. What is this Three of Pentacles? The World card. Yeah, this Three of Pentacles. This is some kind of lesson that you learned. You're ending a cycle. And maybe that's the reason why you have the Wheel of Fortune here. You're ending a cycle and moving into a new cycle. You're moving into these new changes. And you have the Fool again. So you have the Fool twice in this reading. So it's definitely some kind of new beginning. You've completed some sort of cycle. You're moving into these changes that are bringing you to this new beginning. This is new. You also have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So definitely a lot of new energy here. What is this Ace of Wands energy? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, so, you know, with this, with this Ace of Wands, this is a new passion, new direction, new inspiration. This is something that, that's being created. And I feel like you're protecting this, whatever this is. This is something that you're protecting. You're defending this. You may be keeping this all to yourself. You're not telling anybody about this situation. If this is a love interest, I feel like you're keeping it secret. This is like your secret love. Um, or maybe your secret admirer. Maybe you are the secret admirer. But I feel like you're keeping this secret. This is very guarded information. What is this Hermit card? Tell me more about this Hermit. The Page of Pentacles. So yeah, with this Page and this Hermit card. Yeah, I feel like he's, you know, looking down. He doesn't want to go where he's been before. And I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, you're starting something new. This is something new. This may also be good news, but look how he's protecting that. Look how he's protecting that Pentacle. And I feel like it's bringing some kind of... You're looking into something. This may be some kind of research that, that you're doing. You're looking into someone's background, somebody's information. But I feel like you're telling yourself, I don't want to go back to the same kind of situation. I want to start something new. And I feel like with this Page of Pentacles, this, this is you kind of researching that situation. Because you have the nine of wands on the bottom. So yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, oh, excuse me. I definitely feel like you're kind of persistent about maintaining your boundaries. You're setting, you're guarding something. You're kind of guarding it with, <laughs> look how she's looking. You're guarding it with your life. You know, you don't want anybody to invade your space. That's very interesting cancer very interesting okay. tell me more about this situation we're going to get a little bit of advice for this tell me give me some advice for cancer what advice do we have for cancer some advice for cancer please lost lands 
soul memories and gifts you've done this before yeah that's exactly what i was feeling you know with this hermit card i feel like you don't want to be in the same space again you don't want to do the same thing over again so i feel like you're kind of moving away from situations that you've been in before you want to move into a new direction i feel like that's the reason why these you have two fools here so you're definitely looking for a new beginning You're looking for something new in your life. You don't want to go through the same thing over and over. We have loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. Okay, so that, I think that has to do with just being grounded. I have the feeling of, like, it looks like she's falling, you know? You you may feel like you're falling at times, like you just don't have the ability to um, hold on to something. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Yeah, you're unique, Cancer. There's nobody like you. So, you know. Embrace your uniqueness. Be your true self. You know. Exactly. What advice do we have for cancer, please? Give me some advice for cancer. We have sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yeah, embrace life itself. Be true to yourself no matter what, Cancer. And we have sacred vision. So we have sacred self and sacred vision. So choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So if this is love that you're going through, you may have to let, get, let down your guard. In order to pursue this situation, you may have to let go, let, let go of, you know, whatever it is that's holding you back. At the bottom, you have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. What messages do we have for cancer? What message do we have for cancer, please? Angelic protection. So whatever it is that you're going through, you have protection, cancer. You're being watched over. Um, Spirit is letting you know that they have your back. And listen deeply. So pay attention to what's going around you. And we also have ask and receive. So, yeah. So if you'd like to ask a question, Cancer, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video for a moment and ask your question. Concentrate on your question and we'll get an answer for you. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, what is the answer to Cancer's question? Give us an answer to Cancer's question. Romance. So, whatever your question is, it may lead to romance. Um, let's get another, another answer, please. And helpful people so it may be helpful people who are coming into the situation it may be romance but you need to trust you need to trust yourself trust the universe trust your angels have your back cancer okay that is what I have for you if this reading resonates cancer please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look 
at your sun moon and rising if this doesn't resonate um, I should have all of the readings up by probably tomorrow I think okay and many blessings to you until the next reading love and light cancer